Everybody tells the tourists that the Prague metro system is easy, but once they get to the machines, it can become confusing. Just give me a couple minutes and I will show you how to cut through all the confusion and turn you into a metro pro. The Prague public transport system, or MHD, consists of the metro trains, tram cars, buses and rail network operating within city limits. We will keep it simple and refer to all of these as the transport system. Every vehicle operates on the same ticket system. You won't need a different ticket for buses than you do for the metro train. The Prague Transport works on the owner system, so you can ride black, as the locals say, but you can get caught and then pay a large fine. They must display their badge and a photo ID when checking your ticket. You can pick up a ticket in various places. The ticket machines are large orange or yellow boxes with numerous buttons. You can find them in the vestibule of every underground station and at many of the busier tram stops around town. If you see a sticker that says Mimo Provos, that means the machine is out of order, so move on to the next one. Most traffickers also sell tickets, although you must usually ask in Czech. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Tak já bych prosila jeden lístek za 20. Děkuju. The first thing you will notice is a maddening array of choices. Ignore them all. The only fare you will want to consider for a single ride in town is 20 crowns. It is good for any 90-minute ride, including transfers. The only other option you might want to consider is a week pass or a month pass, depending on how long you plan to stay in town. Once you have made your choice by pushing the button on the machine, insert your money and wait as the machine prints out your ticket. Two quick notes. Try to keep some small change handy. The machines will accept 50 crown coins, but will return all of your change in annoying two crown coins. Now there is one more step. You must validate your ticket before entering the vehicle. The validation devices are these small yellow boxes planted at the entrance to station platforms. On the trams, you will find them distributed on poles through the tram. Hold your ticket like this and slide it into the slot, holding it until you hear the tiny printer inside stamp your ticket. Travelers will find the Prague system very easy to navigate. It's similar to most other major systems, in that each line is designated by a color, metro trains, or a number, bus and tram lines. Each line has two terminals, which are plainly displayed. On the metro train, find your line according to the color, then go to the platform. In most cases, each direction leaves from the same platform, so don't worry about going down the wrong set of stairs. Look up to the line map. Your current station is shown as a white circle. Every location to the right of your spot on the map can be reached from the right-hand platform. Every station listed to the left can be reached by taking the train to your left. Transfer stations are marked with concentric circles of different colors. Once on the train, just listen for your stop or watch the station names marked on the tunnel walls. Simple. Tram stops are marked by a red metal sign and a picture of a tram on it. Now we have to look up the number of the tram that you want to take. The station you are at is marked bold. If you want to take any station which is under, you are on the right stop. If you want to take any of the stations which is above the bold sign, you have to take the tram which goes the opposite direction. Buses work the exact same way. A little bit of etiquette is in order here. Always give some room for people to exit before you try to enter. There will always be time for you to get on. If you see a senior or handicapped person, the first row of seats by the door of every tram is always reserved. Helping a mom get her baby carriage into the tram is also a classy move. Eating and drinking on the transport system is not permitted. Try to avoid it. Don't forget that the metro stops after midnight and then again starts at 5 in the morning. That's all there is to it, so enjoy the sights, sounds and well, smells of the Prague Metro.